Hey everyone, welcome to another episode of Highway Basin. This is Lubaka and you're watching Lubaka video. I'm out here on Hog Lake, northern Indiana. And amazingly, the lily pads are up. It will be a while before this happens back in Wisconsin. So I was fishing out there by the boat launch and I wasn't doing too well. On my way here from the truck stop, I met a couple of folks, I greeted them, and what do you know? Within an hour, they were back here and they allowed me to fish off of their pier right here. They got a little boat over there. It's a beautiful lake, very clear water. And let's see if we can see any of the fish that were all over the places I was coming in. So far I only got one bass about 12 incher on a scum frog. There we scared something over there. Look at all, it was a very skinny thing on the scum frog in a green color. There we spooked a bunch over there. Not sure what they are. There was something under this lily pad too. And so far I've tried a weedless fluke. I've tried a size 13 or 130 of the river to sea whopper plopper in a chubby pattern. Uh, I just had tied the husky jerk in a perch pattern because I saw on fish brain somebody was catching perch through the ice out on this lake. And uh, I tried two different Z-Man chatter baits. I tried a chartreuse with white and I tried pumpkin seed over green speckle. I don't know why, but I can't figure out what I should be using. So. Help me out, comment underneath what I should be using right now to catch those bass right here. Because I hear that there's six pounders out here and uh, I saw a gentleman on Fish Brain mentioning that he got his personal best out of this lake. And he said he got it on a chatterbait. So I don't know, I'll keep casting. Right now I'm gonna switch. So this is one of the chatterbaits I was using. This is the husky jerk I was using. And now I'm thinking to go to one of these frogs. I'm debating between this one. And I also have the green scum frog that I should try probably again. It's, this is the one that I got my first bass on. With all the bluegill, I'm assuming that they'll be eating sunfish. So maybe this swim bait will work. This is the real image from Cabela's. And this was the Chubby River to see that I was casting a little bit ago. So let's go back at it and see what happens. I'll set this facing out here. Or actually I should probably switch it around so I can see who's on who's off camera. And I'll go back to casting my chatterbait on my Daiwa Tatua. So this is the rather amusing, this is the real amusing. This is the SV103HL 6.3 ratio. I do have a wire leader and then I have a trailer, striking trailer. That's been working pretty good in other places. I don't know why I haven't been lucky here yet. Who knows, maybe now with the sun coming down, it should get better. Yesterday I managed to check off of my bucket list uh, koi fish on the fly. That was out in uh, Baltimore. Actually twice, I got two of them. And uh, one of them I actually got live on YouTube. So if you haven't subscribed yet, 
it's so probably a very good idea to hit that subscribe button and then also check off the bell so you get notifications every time I upload or I go live. This way you're not going to miss be a part of the highway bassin adventure. As always, I want to thank Profit Express Hazmat Carriers for sending me to all those beautiful places. I know that's not their idea originally, but I make of the trucking whatever best I can. Otherwise, it could be a very tough life. It's a beautiful day. Very comfortable. It rained a little earlier. Birds are chirping. Bullfrogs are croaking. Where are the big bass? Is what I want to find out. There's a bunch of kids coming with a golf cart out there. And they look like they're going to get right in the lake. I think he thinks he's in a Polaris ATV. <laughs> Let's switch it around this way. Make a couple of casts along the lily pads. I don't have a lot of battery life left, so we'll see how much longer I can go. Really hope I catch one on camera. It's always fun to get one live on YouTube. So I found this lake on uh, Google Maps and uh, then I checked it on Fishbrain. It showed that there's several catches, not too many. I contacted a gentleman, I don't remember his handle on Fishbrain, I'll write it in the description after when I check it. I want to thank him for responding, uh, that was really cool of him to let me know what he was using. and. Uh, he actually explained to me how tough it is to get here because of the lily pads. But anyhow, I'm happy to have gotten even one fish so far. So that same gentleman, uh, he mentioned he managed to get his uh, personal best on a chatterbait in a boat. And that's what I'm throwing right now, a chatterbait, and I'm kind of out here as if I'm in a boat. I'm no longer out in the shallow lily pads where I couldn't do anything. This area here is a lot better access, for which I want to thank these kind people that allowed me to fish on their property. It's really cool. And the lady uh, told me her brother got a six and a half pounder through the ice. So definitely the lake has potential which I'm yet to discover. I don't know if I should be going deeper, if I should be going shallower, if I should be going slower or faster. I'll just keep casting and hopefully it will work out for the best. Haven't seen a lot of comments lately. I always wonder if my viewers like these types of live feeds. I know it's going to be a lot more fun if the fish actually start biting left and right. Has anybody else encountered a similar situation where the water is this clear and The fish are just not responding as well. I guess now with the overcast clouds and everything, it should get them moving a little. Really hopeful. I'm getting close to 4,000 subscribers. I'm already at uh, 4.2 million views on my channel. 
for which I want to thank you, the viewers. Nothing of this would be possible without you. So I really appreciate it. I I have a big backlog of videos that I haven't done just because my computer is getting old. I need to get something of a better machine that will allow me for better editing. Looks like my battery is about to call it a night. So I will show you the lake once again and then I'm gonna go off the live feed. Let me switch it around. So this is Hog Lake. If you're ever in the area, it's right off of the westbound I-80. The second to last travel plaza. And again, thanks to the nice folks that allowed me to fish off of their pier. As always, guys, keep fishing. Be safe, have fun, and do what you love, because life is too short. The bucket is out.